Hi, everyone. Um, I was blessed to be a contributing author um, to the, on, uh, the anthology, anthology, Unlock Your Hidden Treasure, It's Time to Shine. And I'd like to start by first, um, I did write a um, chapter within this anthology, and I'd like to first read um, what the um, visionary, Dr. Mary Seegers said about, um, in her introduction about this anthology. Unlock your hidden treasure, it's time to shine. Allow the 10 amazing authors to share their stories and speak their truth about how they unlocked the precious gifts within them and to allow others to know it's okay to use your gifting in life. I desire that the readers of this book to acknowledge their own hidden treasures and be encouraged and free enough to let their purpose shine for others. A true, a true treasure should not be locked up, but set free to allow others to enjoy its beauty. So that was part of the introduction to this anthology. And just so you get a little flavor from um, the authors, I just don't wanna read um, the chapter titles. Um, so here are the chapter titles. Unleash the power of your voice, a hidden treasure. Nothing personal, but I'm a Eurostar. Seeing in the dark. Life is happening. I see you, God. The power of perseverance. I didn't know my own strength. Where hope begins. Hidden jewels, discovering my true purpose. It's never too late to start again. And the elements of life are precious. So as you can see, by just listening to just the titles in this anthology, that it is an uplifting read. Even though we have um, suffered adversities, we've come out on the other side. So um, it has been a joy to meet these other authors. And now I, I'd like to talk a little bit about my own chapter, which was called Where Hope Begins. And, you know, my journey um, started not when I just wrote this chapter, my journey started four and a half years ago when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And, um, you know, it was a, uh, it was, I was diagnosed in October of 2017 and my life was forever changed. Something like a uh, cancer diagnosis does change you, it, it shakes you up. <laughs> and um, I found that after I had my yearly mammogram, that's where they found my cancer. So um, in a year's time, from the year prior to, to 2017, something had grown and it was an aggressive type of cancer um, that is called triple positive, meaning it was positive for estrogen, progesterone, and HER2. And it was stage one and it was called invasive ductal carcinoma. And I went through treatment, it was 10 months and I had chemotherapy going once a week for 12 weeks. That was followed by 20 rounds of radiation and um, an antibody treatment that I had. And then currently I'm on oral medication. So um, I'm here today, cancer free. So I'm so happy that I was able and now able to share my story with everyone. So now let's fast forward <laughs> to September, 2020, when I'd lost my mother. And once again, I found myself in a dark place <clears throat> when I was like, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Our dear friend here, Dr. Anita Caprice reached out to me and asked if I'd like to join a woman's group the all Michigan chapter for oneness and wisdom. So it was a blessing to me. I know I've told Dr. Anita many times and, and the women in the sisterhood, it has been a blessing to me. So joining this group was just what I needed right at that time in my life. And being a part of the sisterhood has uplifted me so many times and they've all been so supportive and, they, and we support each other and they've in and, and, and reaching our dreams. And so when Dr. Anita, when I first joined <clears throat> a couple months later, she, she asked me to do a, um, a talk because I was a breast cancer survivor and she even coined it 
journey and journal with Josephine. And I, I did the talk and, and Dr. Anita said, this talk, and it was about my breast cancer journey and it was about awareness. And she said, this talk needs to be every month, Josephine. I really think it needs to be every month because people need to become more aware about breast cancer and the facts and the statistics around breast cancer. So I went ahead and talked. And what I did is during my um, breast cancer journey, I had journaled. So I would take excerpts every month for 10 months and I would talk, um, I would read my excerpt and then we, I, I discuss a little bit of the feelings and then, it, and it was really, um, thank you, Dr. Anita for that, because it was very uplifting. It was uplifting me um, going through it again and just revisiting what I had gone through, but now, you know, three, at that time, three years later. So today, you know, I'm a breast cancer advocate and I share my journey in the anthology. And I found out quickly, quickly that you needed hope. You needed hope. And there are some days, you know, that was all I had was hope. And I also prayed to God and I felt his presence walking me through this journey. And as they say, some days he carried me. So, um, you know, and also the other thing is support. It's so greatly important. And I was important. I was fortunate. I had a, a very large group of family and friends that really rallied around me and that support uplifted me. And you really need that during a cancer uh, journey. You need that support. You need to know, Hey, I'm important. People care about me. You know, it really is um, a blessing. Uh, and I know it's a horrible thing to be diagnosed, but what a blessing to know that people care, that people care. And it was such an outpouring. I, I saw the goodness, the goodness in people. And it was, it was amazing. And it warmed my heart. And, and I truly, truly believe it helped with my healing and recovery from breast cancer. So I'd like to share a, a story with you that was important to me. Um, and I wanted just to, to show the importance of support. I met a woman last year and um, she was scared to tell, she told hardly anyone about her breast cancer. In fact, I just spoke to her last week and she said, actually, Josephine, I told a couple close friends and my husband and the diagnosis really just paralyzed her. And um, as many of you know, I'm, I'm involved with the Coleman Detroit Race for the Cure and she was coming to pick up her t-shirt for the race. And um, I met her in the parking lot and she said, you know, I didn't even want to come here today. Um, I'm driving here and now I'm the, the cancer survivor and I'm scared and I have to wear this pink shirt and I am just terrified. And she told me all about her feelings and how she was keeping this in. So I quickly told her, you know, you really need the support. You need the support. And we were all there because we were, um, you know, the Coleman volunteers were there. We talked to her and we said, you know what? You really need, you know, the support. And as we talked to her, you could see she became more relaxed. And by the end, she was laughing. You know, I, 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 run a, I run a support group and I told her to join it. And of course, the support group is no, not, none other called Where Hope Begins. The, the same name as the title of my book. And she joined that day. And when I talked to her last week, she said, Josephine, when I talked to you, that was the turning point. That was the turning point for me to understand I'm gonna be okay. And that talking about this is gonna be okay. And it made me feel really good that now she's able to share and she does with others about her breast cancer diagnosis. So I just wanted to share the importance of support, you know, and by writing, um, you know, the, this chapter, you know, I did real, you know, sort of recognize again that it, you know, the support, how important it is and that you shouldn't always know that you're never alone, never alone. You can, you know, if you don't have a lot of family or maybe, you know, you have a small group of friends, there's support groups out there, you know, and you can go online and, you know, and, and you're never going to be alone. So I just want to stress that. And by writing this, I know I'm leaving a legacy. 
I'm leaving a legacy, you know, for my great, great uh, nieces or nephews, you know, they may never meet me, but when they read it, they go, wow, my aunt, you know, had breast cancer and she's talked about it. And I, I, that's sort of part of, you know, why, uh, you know, I wanted to do this as well. And, you know, it's important to leave a legacy and believe it or not, I intend to go further. And this chapter is not the end, it's just the beginning. I'm currently working on a book that will chronicle my entire breast cancer journey um, entitled Journey and Journal with Josephine, a breast cancer story of hope. And um, the projected date of publication will be August of 2022. But in the meantime, I encourage you to get, unlock your hidden treasure, it's time to shine, and read what these inspiring authors have to share. And, um, you know, we are all survivors in one way or another. And I encourage you and I challenge you to reach inside of yourself, reach inside and find that whatever you survive, bring it out and share it with people. Share it with people because you know what? It's life-changing for you and for others. I guarantee it. Thank you.